right, let's look at a, um, an example problem dealing with bonds issued at a discount. It says Apex Corporation issued 14% five-year bonds payable with a maturity value of $45,000 at a price of $44,100 on January 1st, 2012. Journalize the following explanation or uh, entry. Issuance of the bond payable on January 1st and then payment of the semi-annual interest and amortization of the bond discount on July 1st. Okay, let's first handle that issuance of the bond. Okay, so this is going to be on January 1st. And we know how much we actually receive for that bond, $44,100. So we'll go ahead and debit cash here for $44,100. We also know the face value of the bond was $45,000, so we'll credit bonds payable for that. That's the amount we're going to have to pay back at the end of the five years. So bonds payable, face value, $45,000. Now, if you can see here, my debits do not equal my credits. In this case, that bond was issued at a discount because it was issued at lower than face value. So we had a $900 discount on bonds payable. Just as the just the difference between the forty-five thousand and the forty-four thousand one hundred dollars. Okay. All right. So then it says we are going to go ahead and pay that interest payment semi-annual. That means once every. Or I'm sorry, twice a year semi-annual. So every six months. We need to calculate the amount of the interest first. So let's take 45,000 face value of the note. The interest is always calculated on the face value times the rate, which is 14%, which is $6,300. Okay. But remember, we're paying interest twice a year. So we need to divide that by 2 or 6 over 12. So that's going to be 3150. All right. So we know we're going to make an interest payment to our bondholders of $3150. So let's go ahead and we'll credit cash here. $3150. However, since we have this bond discount of $900, we need to amortize that or write it off over the life of the bond. So the way we would do that is let's take that $900 and divide it by the number of interest payments we're going to make. So it's a five-year bond and we're making those payments semi-annually, so twice a year. So five times two will be 10. So we're gonna make 10 interest payments on that particular bond. That means I need to write off $90 of that bond discount with every interest payment. So we are also going to credit discount on bonds payable, $90. And again, that's how we calculated that amount. And then we'll debit our bond interest expense. For 32.40, which is my two credits added together. So that discount on bonds payable actually increases my bond interest expense over the life of the loan. And you can also see here that that credit, that discount on bonds payable here is going to reduce that earlier debit discount on bonds payable by $90 with each interest payment. So once we get through with all 10 interest payments, that discount will be completely written off.